So in this example, what we're doing, the first step is we distributed the eight through the parentheses using the distributive property. And that gives us this next line of eight X minus eight is equal to negative four X plus 136. I want to make this look like X equals some stuff. So that means I got to put all my X's on one side of the equal sign and all the other stuff on the other side. I'm going to move negative X, but I want to move the four and the X together. So I'm going to do the opposite of subtract, which is add. Now I selected negative four X because I knew that I'd have to add four X. And if I add four X to eight, that gives me a positive X value. In other words, that's going to be a positive 12 X. Now the rest of this stuff just comes down. So my negative eight comes down. Oops, one too many lines. Um, negative eight just comes down and then negative four X plus four X is just zero. Zero plus 136 is 136, okay? And then what do I do next? I'm gonna add eight. I need to move stuff away from the X. I can move the 12 or I can move the eight, but the 12 is always last. The coefficient of the variable is always the last thing we move. So I'm gonna move the eight first by doing the opposite operation. Instead of subtracting eight, the opposite of that is add eight. Whatever I do on one side, I do to the other. By the way, what property is that I just used? Well, let's start up here. What property did I use there? The addition of the of equality, right? Whatever I did on one side of the equal sign, I had to do to the other, okay? And what did I use a second time? The addition property of equality. That's kind of an important thing in this lesson. Now, when I use the addition property of equality, um, eight, Minus 8 is 0. 0 plus 12x is just 12x. And then that's equal to 8 plus 136. So 6 plus 8 is 14. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. So it's 144. What do I do next? Divide by 12. I want to get the 12 away from the x. 12x means 12 times x. To get the 12 away, I do the opposite of multiply so I divide whatever I do on one side I do on the other by the way what property did I just use I used the division property of equality okay twelve divided by twelve is one one times x is just x Right? In other words, this divided by this gives me 1 over 1. 1 times x is x. What's 144 divided by 12? 12. And that is our solution. Any questions?